disclaimer if you are eating you probably don't want to be listening to these stories unless you want to unless you love me so much and you know you just want to watch me talk then <laughs> you know fine hey guys so today i'm gonna be looking at people reveal the nastiest thing they have done so yeah let's just get right into the video I accidentally swallowed my crown on my front tooth after it came loose while I was eating taffy. I had the runs the next day and managed to poop it out while at work. I heard a clink in the toilet and I just knew. However, our toilets at work are automatic or use a motion sensor. I was terrified that I was going to move too quickly and make it flush. So I slowly crept off of the toilet and onto the bathroom floor. My asshole out in the open, covered in liquid turd and crawled over to a box of latex gloves that we had in the bathroom. I somehow managed to avoid making the toilet flush. Pick the crown out from the toilet and called my dentist. He ran the crown through the sterilizer and put that $1,400 bad boy right back into my mouth. I have no regrets. They put the poopy crown back in the... <laughs> what the heck? I actually didn't even know what I was reading. I was like, why is... What? Why is he telling us all this? Why is he just not flashing the toilet? You know, like a normal person does. Oh, he wanted to fish out his crown and then put it back in his teeth. Because it was too expensive. Oh, I don't know if I could do that. Even if it was like so expensive, like $1,400. I don't know if I could do that. I probably wouldn't. I can't, man. Like, ugh, every single time. I'm eating, I'm gonna be thinking <laughs> that crown has been in me and I pooped it out and it has been in my poop before. So basically the teeth that I'm using to chew is poop. I cannot do that. I feel like people who overthink cannot do this. Only the chill people who don't care about anything, they can do this. My ex had a golf ball sized cyst on her shoulder. I tried to extract it and it squirted forcefully a little right into my mouth. I immediately threw up on her leg and Kat, who chose the absolute worst time to affectionately cuddle her leg. The poor cat though, you know, the cat was just having a good time cuddling my owner's leg. What the heck is out on me? Why do I feel so wet? Threw up in my pants in the bathroom of the bar and continued drinking. I dropped a sandwich on the floor at work and it was covered in sawdust. I was feeling really sad so I just ate it and didn't care at all. <laughs> See, this person would totally wash their poopy crown and put it back in there. <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm not starving, right? And I could still buy another sandwich. I probably wouldn't do that. Now I just kind of feel like a brat. Because I'm like, I won't eat this dirty sandwich when I know there are so many people out there that are just starving without food and they will eat the sandwich. And then there's me saying I won't eat the sandwich. I'm a horrible person. When I was about four years old, I was at a video rental store and shook out a little nugget of a turd that fell down my pant leg and was left by the video games. What? How does it just fall out? Were they like not wearing undies or something? Like... Wouldn't your poop stay in your undies? Or did they just like, you know, move it? You know, pick their veggie and then it just fell out. <laughs> These are so nasty. Pissed myself while I was really drunk and couldn't admit it. So poured at my alcohol on myself to make it seem like I'd somehow gotten a bunch of liquid spilled on me. Since I was in a club, that plan wasn't working. As you can imagine, you can't just acquire that much alcohol for free and quickly. So I ended up trying to get into a sink in the bathroom and ended up getting taken away in an ambulance due to slipping. That sounds a lot less funny when I say it like that, actually. Whoa, one thing just led to another? Like, what the heck? <laughs> so people, the moral of the story, if you piss yourself, just say that you pissed yourself. Who cares? Own it. Else you're going to be slipping in the bathroom and then hitting the back of your head on tiles. That's not something you want to do. Pushing my abdomen back together because the searches came undone and I could see my insides. What? Oh my gosh, I would faint. 
if I saw my insides, dude. <laughs> One morning I was getting ready for work, still naked from just waking up and not feeling too good either. I made the mistake of trusting a fart and a small bit of liquid hit the floor. I tried to run to the counter to grab paper towels, but before I could react, my dog was already lapping it up. The dog licked up their poop? What the heck has this dog been eating, dude? Wow, my dog would never do that. Then again, some dogs eat their own poop. That's what I've always found weird. Why? My dog just smells her poop and she's like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done pooping. Now pick it up, Ellen. I wasn't feeling well, so I took a nap. I woke up feeling even worse. So I tried going downstairs to tell my wife. I was in my boxes and t-shirt. At the top of the stairs, I pooped so hard I fainted, then had explosive diarrhea. I woke up halfway down the carpeted stairs, slowly sliding down it on a water slide of my own poop and vomit. <laughs> I feel so bad, like it just happened all so quickly. They were about to be like, hey honey, and then bam, all of a sudden they're just in their poop and vomit. I pissed my pants behind the water fountain at school in like fourth grade because I was afraid of the mean girls in the bathroom. <gasps> oh, I pissed my pants before too but I never thought of that as like the nastiest thing I've done. I just feel like that was like a kid thing. The reason I pissed my pants was because I was such a socially awkward kid I was too scared to ask the teacher so I tried holding it in but I just couldn't anymore. <laughs> I think this was when I was like nine. Man, why? Why was I such a shy kid? I mean, I still am a shy kid. Why do people grow up shy? Does it have anything to do with like your environment? I guess it does. But then some people are like so outgoing as kids and then they become so shy as an adult. Some people are shy as kids and then they become so outgoing as adults. It's weird. I wish I was like outgoing. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.